A few days ago, I put a short video out regarding John Dillinger's death. A commenter asked me if I knew of any other famous criminals who served in the armed forces, and it got me thinking. And with the help of my dad, we compiled a list of five criminals who served in the armed forces. Please note that this video is not intended to glorify these crimes or the men that committed them. We start the list with the man previously mentioned, John Dillinger. Before he became known for his exploits robbing banks and becoming public enemy number one, John Herbert Dillinger joined the United States Navy in an attempt to avoid charges for Grand Theft Auto in the state of Indiana. He joined the Navy in 1923 as a machinist, and unsurprisingly, he wasn't a model sailor. He reportedly went AWOL several times while serving aboard the USS Utah, and while the ship was docked in Boston, Dillinger left and never returned. He was officially discharged in 1924. After his brief stint in the Navy, Dillinger returned to a life of crime and became the infamous gangster we all know today. He was killed in 1934 in a shootout with the FBI. Next on our list, we head across the Atlantic to London and the notorious East End gangsters, the Cray Twins. In the early 1950s, all young men in Britain had to serve the military in national service. The Cray Twins received their letters in March 1952, calling for them to report to the Tower of London for service with the Royal Fusiliers. Upon arrival, they were lectured by their new corporals. The twins, unsatisfied with their introduction to army life, walked away. When one of their corporals tried to stop them, Ronnie Cray punched him in the face and the two returned home to have their tea. The next morning, the twins were arrested and placed in military prison, where they spent the majority of the next two years of their national service. Upon release, they were dishonorably discharged and went on to pursue an infamous life of crime. Staying in London, we turn our attention to one of Britain's most notorious serial killers, David Nielsen. Nielsen joined the army in 1961, passing out of basic training and joining as a chef. He was described by one former colleague as very strange and having a weird sense of humour. It was during his time in Germany that Nielsen began to drink heavily. After serving in Germany, he was posted to Norway, as well as the Yemen, where he was nearly killed by a taxi driver. He left the army in October 1972. He had a few various jobs after leaving the army in 1972, but it was what occurred between 1978 and 1983, which saw the former army chef go down in infamy. Nielsen is known to have killed 12 men and boys, but the number is potentially as high as 16. He was arrested and given life imprisonment. He died in prison in 2018. We head back over to the Atlantic and to one of the most famous American assassinations in history. On the 22nd of November 1963, JFK was visiting Dallas in Texas, travelling in a presidential motorcade when he was shot in the back and the head, killing him instantly. The shooter, former United States Marine Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald joined the Marines in 1956, where he achieved his sharpshooter qualification. He wasn't particularly fond of his time in the Marine Corps, and struggled to fit in and make friends. He was often criticised by his fellow Marines for his pro-Soviet viewpoints, which at the time was not a wise move. He left the Marines in 1959 after several infractions and begging to be discharged. After his discharge, he infamously tried to gain Soviet citizenship but was turned away. He was killed three days after the Kennedy assassination by Jack Ruby, but that is a different story. We end today's episode on one of the most infamous killers in American history, Jeffrey Dahmer. In January 1979, Jeffrey Dahmer joined the US Army as a medic. The year before, he had committed his first murder. After completing his training, he was stationed in Germany. His first year of service was rated slightly above average, and it was around this time that Dahmer was accused of SA repeatedly on one of his bunkmates. It was also around this time that Dahmer's performance in the military was affected by his growing alcoholism. He was dismissed from the army in March 1981 with an honourable discharge. He served just over two years. After leaving the army, Dahmer infamously went on to murder 16 men and write his name into one of America's darkest chapters. He was arrested in 1991 before being killed in prison in 1994 by one of his fellow prisoners. That concludes today's episode. If you know of any other criminals that could have made the list, drop them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one.